Hey there, tech fans. Today I've got the brand new Wubin G5 EDC or Everyday Carry Flashlight. And let me tell you, this little guy is an engineering marvel for so many different reasons that I'll explain in a minute. But let me start off with a basic understanding of what this whole EDC category is all about. So flashlight manufacturers a few years ago started building different categories of flashlights. So there are tactical flashlights that you'll use when you're hunting, they strap onto your gun. There are EDC flashlights like this that are everyday carry flashlights that you'll use for multi-purpose things, working on your car, taking a walk through the woods. And then there are specialty flashlights that are built for specific use cases. But the EDC flashlight market has exploded in recent years and a lot of companies have entered it. There've been a lot of clones produced. A lot of different companies are trying to find that perfect combination of carrying ability with flashlight intensity and long life on the batteries. And I think what Wubin has built here is the perfect compromise because the problem with a lot of smaller EDC flashlights is that as manufacturers shrunk them in size, they also shrunk the battery, they shrunk the light source, which means they got smaller, but they got dimmer or they didn't last as long. That's not the case with the G5. So what Wubin's done here is built an incredibly powerful flashlight in a tiny package. Now you might be wondering how small is it really because you can't tell the perspective from where you're looking. This flashlight weighs 52 grams. So again, it's light enough to bring with you anywhere. You almost forget you have it with you until you need it. And I know a lot of EDC flashlights that get small can easily slide into your front pocket. This is a top pocket flashlight. It fits in this pocket. And again, there's no weight to it. I'm moving around. You can hardly feel it's in your pocket until you need it. And there you go. You got plenty of light. Now to give you a relative size of it, I could measure it a couple of inches. It's two and a half inches by one and a half inches by a half an inch, but I like perspectives. So here's something you might be familiar with. <laughs> That's a cookie all of us have eaten and I love snacks, but Look at the size of that flashlight next to the cookie. Let me lay it on its side. It's incredibly small. Again, you can fit it in your pocket and use it pretty much anywhere. But again, small size isn't everything because being small is cool because it's portable and you can bring it with you, but it has to be powerful. So this flashlight provides between two and 400 lumens of illumination that's steplessly adjusted through a knob on the side. So unlike a lot of other EDC flashlights where you're pushing a button 17 times to get to a perfect level, with this one, you've got a rotary knob on the side that you can move from two lumens all the way up to 400 lumens and find the exact right illumination for the area you're trying to survey. In addition to that, it throws that light extremely far away. It's 82 meters of throw downfield on the light. So if you're walking through the woods, you can crank it up and you can see the path in front of you. You can illuminate the sides of the path so you can see everything in your way. In addition to that, it's a two light source light. So they could have stopped there and just had a white light, but instead they built in a second light source right there that's RGB. And you can vary the color of that all the way through the spectrum by using that same knob on the side. So you can be in white light mode, or RGB mode, and again, you can vary the light. You can also put it in emergency mode where it's a flasher and they've got four or five different settings of different color combinations that can flash. And in the RGB mode, you can actually pick the color that it flashes in. So that's kind of cool as a flashlight. But in addition to that, watch this. This top lens, which points out at you like a standard flashlight would, rotates 180 degrees. I can flip it forward, I can stand it up, and I can point it at whatever I'm working on. I can flip it backwards this direction as well. So I've got 180 degrees of travel for that light. In addition to that, I've got a bell clip on the side, which is pretty typical for most EDC flashlights. So you can clip this on your belt and go about your business and then sort of angle this to the direction you need it. But the clip also rotates. So I've got it on the side now. If I want to put it on the other side, I just pull it out gently, swing it around, and now it's on this side. And you might think, well, what am I going to use that for? Drop it on your belt. So you can pop it on your belt this way, point the flashlight out when you're walking down the road and you've got plenty of illumination in front of you. You could also clip it to your hat and it becomes a hat light. So if you're working on your bench, you've got perfect lighting in front of you. Or again, if you're out in the woods and you're working on something, you can adjust that light perfectly for whatever you're doing out in the field. And you can rotate that back to the standard position or either side. So again, when I say it's an engineering marvel, Wubin has really thought about what you're gonna use a flashlight for and they focused on that with this particular light and really built in a lot of advanced features. They've also built in other clever engineering features, which I find really interesting. One of them is the battery levels. How do you check that? Well, if you tap the side button right here, which is the way you turn the flashlight on and move between the lighting and RGB modes, if you hold that in for about a second, you'll see on the top, you have to hold it in. Let me turn it off. I'll hold it in for a second. That light came on over here in blue right now. 
And blue means you've got between 70 and 90% of the battery left. As the battery goes down, it turns into blue flashing, then red on, then red flashing. So you can tell what the battery level is through the color RGB on the front. So tons of engineering built into it. All right, so let me do the unboxing next, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the flashlight. So when you open up the box, Wubinas include a lot of really cool accessories, starting with a lanyard. Now, this flashlight's small enough where you might want to have the lanyard on it when you're walking around the woods or if you're in a boat. You definitely don't want to drop it in the water or even drop it in a grouping of leaves. You'll have a hard time finding it, so you've got a lanyard. They include a really tiny charging cable. Now, I know they're trying to keep the box small. Everything is small. They could have put a longer charging cable in, but you've probably got 100 charging cables at home. This one is a USB-C for the flashlight and a USB-A for the wall charger. Now, just plug this into the flashlight, plug this into the wall, or even an open port on your computer. You can charge the unit in about three hours if it's fully discharged or somewhere in between if you've still got a charge on it. This will run, now pay attention, this will run for up to 65 hours on the lowest setting. Now, of course, if you crank it up to 400 lumens, you're not going to get that long a use out of it. But somewhere in between, you're going to get a lot of use out of a tiny little flashlight like this that's about the same size as that cookie. So, it, again, incredible. They also include a little ring you can use to attach it to your key ring if you want. It's small enough where you could do that. If you've got a big key ring, you're not going to notice it's on there. And then finally, a full instruction manual is also included that explains everything you could possibly want to know about this flashlight, how to use it, how to change through different modes, and how to charge it and all the rest of it. So make sure you read through that manual. One other thing that I didn't discuss yet is on the side of the unit, there's a switch right here. Now the switch has got several functions. In the bottom position right there, it's locked. So if it's in your pocket, it won't inadvertently turn on and you know waste a lot of energy in your pocket. If you want to use it, you'll slide that switch up just one position and it's got a detent so you feel it when you slide it up. That's the on position. So you can use both the white and the RGB light at that point. If you need to charge it, you'll slide it all the way up and that exposes the USB-C connection on the side. Again, clever engineering. They could have put it on the side with a rubber grommet, but then they wouldn't have gotten that IP68 rating. So again, really smart company designing these flashlights. So that's how you'll charge it. Then in addition to that, you've got a magnetic attachment on the bottom as if there weren't enough ways to mount this thing. The magnet on the bottom will hold it against any kind of iron surface or metal surface that a magnet can react to. And once you attach it there, let's say it's the underside of your car hood, you can point this wherever you need to to change that part inside your car. You can stick it to the side of your car if you've got to change your tire and flip it down so you can see the ground so you don't lose the lug nuts. I mean, there's a hundred ways you can use this, but I really, really like the fact that not only do I have a belt clip that I can adjust either side or in the standard position, I've got a magnetic attachment on the bottom which will hold it to any metal surface, and I've got this 180 degree rotation of the lensing up top, which means I can put the light exactly where I need it, and that's pretty cool. So if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take you outside, I'll show you how the light performs in the backyard, just show you what kind of light it can produce and how far it can throw that light, and then I'll come back with a few final thoughts because there's a lot of EDC flashlights on the market. There are tons of companies that make them. Very few of those companies put the kind of thought into the design of the flashlight as Wubin does because they make a wide range of lighting products, and I have to tell you, every time I look at one of their pieces of gear like this, I'm blown away by the engineering because they must sit down and talk to each other a lot about, okay, we can build the EDC flashlight. Well, what if we made the top of it rotate 180 degrees? That's pretty cool. Let's do that. What if we built the RGB in there? Okay, great. Well, how are we going to check the battery level? We'll use the RGB light and we'll just change different colors. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about the belt clip on the side? Okay, well, everybody's got a belt clip. Well, why don't we build ours where it can spin around both directions? Boy, that's great. We got to have a magnetic base. Sure, we'll put a magnet in there and keep the whole thing under 52 grams. Boy, that's a challenge. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can't. Well, they did do it. So stay tuned next. I'll take you outside. You can tell I'm jazzed about this light. <laughs> stay tuned. I'll take you outside and show you how it works. And then I'll come back and remind you about a couple of cool features that the G5 provides that you won't find on other EDC flashlights, especially ones this small. Okay, I'm out on my deck and I wanted to show you how bright this light actually is. I'll start off with the 400 lumen setting. Now look how much light that's throwing. That's pretty incredible from a tiny little flashlight like this. And it's doing a great job of lighting up the entire deck. Now let me walk over to the edge here and show you what it looks like down about six feet below me. I mean, that's throwing a lot of light. That is really incredible. Let me scan the tree a little bit. There we go. Again, you can see just how bright that is. That's absolutely incredible. 
All right, so let me walk this way and we'll head down the steps so you can see what it looks like when I'm at ground level. Make sure I don't trip here. All right, let's see what's going on in the backyard there. Oh, there's my dog. <laughs> Sorry, Cooper. And you can see I'm throwing a lot of light out in front of me. That's going quite a ways. Here's the bird houses or the bird feeders. A walkway. But look how far out in front of me that's throwing light. Again, 82 meters at full brightness, which is absolutely incredible. But for me, it's a nice, even distributed beam, consistently bright, plenty of illumination there. I hope that demonstration was helpful. And again, I know there are brighter EDC flashlights on the market, but they're bigger. I mean, it's a physics problem. You can't build a small flashlight with a small battery. You have to compromise something, right? So 400 lumens on a light this small is absolutely amazing. Most lights you'll find that are roughly this size, maybe 100, 150, 200 lumens if you're lucky. And if they're bright, you're only gonna get 20 minutes out of the light. So what do you do? Do you want length of light? Do you want brightness? This one gives you 400 lumens of light. And again, if you're down on the two lumen scale, you're gonna get 65 hours of light. So somewhere in the middle, you're gonna get a day, day and a half worth of lighting out of the unit, which I think is pretty cool. In addition to that, you know, the fact that it's so flexible is just what blew me away initially. I can spin the top lensing 180 degrees to put the light exactly where I need it. I have dual light sources inside here. So I've got the white light, I've got the RGB light. You know, and if you're like me, if you're a stargazer and you go out one of those star fields, you can't have a white light. You've got to have a red light. So I can turn this into a red RGB light and use it out in that star field. I like the fact that they thought through the clip because a lot of companies miss that. And you know, they put a belt clip on there, they rivet it to the EDC flashlight and they think, okay, you can clip it on your belt. Well, clipping a flashlight on your belt doesn't really give you that functionality. But if I can move this to the side, clip it on my belt and then point the lens forward, that gives me illumination in front of me. And then I can clip it on my hat. I can do a lot of different things with it. So that's really a clever move. And then I like the magnet on the bottom. That's pretty standard on most EDC flashlights, but powerful magnet. It's going to stick to the side of your car. It'll stick to the underside of your hood if you're doing something on your engine. You know, it's just such a versatile light. And the fact that I've got something, again, that's the size of a cookie. I'm going to eat that cookie in a minute. But the size of a cookie just blows me away that I've got all those features in a light that small that can produce up to 400 lumens. I've got stepless adjustment on the side through the knob. It throws that light 82 meters in front of me, which is almost a full football field. So nothing's going to sneak up on me from the front or either side. It just gives me everything I need in a really small light. And again, I know there are other companies that make brighter lights that are bigger. If you need one of those, Wubin makes a lot of those. So maybe you'll look at one of theirs. But this light for me is the perfect everyday carry that I can leave in a glove box, I can keep in my pocket when I'm heading out in the trail, and I've got the lighting source I need to illuminate the area and not take up a lot of weight and a lot of space. Now, one thing I will warn you about, and this is really important, is when a light like this comes out, Wubin as a company has spent a lot of time and treasure designing this, right? Their engineering teams work on it, their mechanical teams work on it, the manufacturing group has to put molds together. They've got to spend time with the CNC group designing the case and everything else. So they, they spent a lot of time putting a light like this together to produce it and actually release it to the market. The challenge is a lot of companies don't spend that kind of money. What they'll do is wait for Wubin to release a light, They'll grab one of those lights, they'll copy that light, and they'll release it. So you're going to see a lot of clones of this light available. It's really important that if you're interested in this, after all the discussion we've had about it, that you make sure that it's got the Wubin logo on the side and you're buying it from a reputable dealer because I'd hate for you to get excited about this light after everything I've explained and then buy one of those clones and be disappointed with it. So when you're searching out there, just know that there are companies, nefarious companies, that'll look at this and say, we're gonna build one that's close for a little less money with none of the features and we'll, we'll fool the consumer into buying that. So just be aware of that, that's all I'm saying. And that's all I really had for today. So I like this light an awful lot. I'm sure you're gonna like it as well. I think these guys, from a flashlight perspective, are absolutely brilliant. I don't know what else they build besides lighting products, but whatever it is, I'd buy one. So thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.